to go go. Oh, with the record selection and the mirror's reflection, I'm a dancing all with myself. Oh, when there's no one else in sight, but in the crowd and lonely night. Well, I wait so long for my love vibration, and I'm dancing all with myself. Okay, everything's out of its package. Now, show you one by one first. First of all, we obviously got the hilt. Not much detail, some gold application added in these lines here. And we have the red button, but other than that, it looks kind of like a normal flashlight to me. Put that there. We got the two blades, we have the translucent one which reflects almost any type of color I'll explain that later and then we have the red lightsaber which you could only you could just you know flash a white color I mean a white color just a flash the normal light and we'll have the red lightsaber lighting up oh no pardon me gotta make sure okay we got the bulb that goes in there. We have one of the, uh, um, you know, the things that you attach to the top of it to give it more detail. This is modeled after Darth Maul's lightsaber at the ends of it. You might recognize it. You might not. I'm not sure. Yeah. Here's an end cap that goes at the bottom right here. Has holes in it, and you can screw it on. We have one, uh, basically just an add-on piece. This is modeled after a piece that belongs to Darth Vader's lightsaber. And, well, yeah, go inside right there. You could also, uh, since it's open right here, you could also put it around where the button is. That way you could press it. But I like to put it more like about down here somewhere. Over here in the back. Ooh. Can't see that much. We got this. Which is goes towards the bottom where the buttons are. Obviously, you can tell by these circles here with some black stripes. Goes around the bottom portion, like around there or so. I'll show you guys later. I'll demonstrate. Over here in the front, we got the three color filters we have green, red, and blue. Obvious colors. Can you mix them? Yeah, you could. You could you, if you mix these two. I think you get yellow, a yellow lightsaber, which I've never seen in any of the Star Wars Mania. I've only seen blue, purple, red, or green. And that's it. There aren't any other colors. Blue one. Can you get purple? I'm not sure because I've tried it and purple doesn't come out. We have a red crystal. There were actually three crystals. Uh, there was a red one, a green one, and a blue one. But I'm missing the other two. This, unfortunately, is the only one I've got. Sad. Then we got the next adapter. is obviously modeled after uh, Darth Vader's lightsaber. This comes in front of it. We got the two. Uh, we got two rings. One has a red switch and a black thing, and one has some gold application. Kind of neat. Then we have this. It's just like that piece. What? Well, just like that piece right there. Just an add-on. This is another end cap. It's modeled after Obi Wan's lightsaber. But this, the ball thing that has the spikes on it, you might recognize it. Over right here we have the end portion that goes around right there. Obviously, to the uh, obvious because of the, obviously because of the holes, it's modeled after Darth Maul's lightsaber with the black stripes. And finally, over here in the back, we have an adapter to make a double-bladed sword. That's why they give you two blades. So you can, you can have a Darth Maul sort of a lightsaber. So that's practically all in detail. I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, what it looks like if, if there is a combination made up between these pieces. So... Be right back. Okay, quick uh, little note. 
to put on the uh, stuff that comes with it, it's really quite easy. Inside are little uh, bags or lines right there. Simply you just slide them on uh, along this little trench here. So you just find the lines, slip them in, they won't move, see? That easy. Okay, let's get back to it. Alright, so I went out along and took some of the pieces and made a custom made Darth Vader like um, lightsaber hilt. As you can notice by having this piece and this piece and having the adapter and having the red blade. How long is the blade exactly? Let me check. Woo! It's pretty pretty good size. The blade is really a neat size. Unlike the uh, bonus lightsaber that came with the um, the uh, Darth Vader voice changer helmet. Yeah, this is a way better improvement. Let me take this back in. Oh wait, that's as far as it can go. Okay, there you go. <laughs> now David, why don't you go ahead and try it out? Yeah, one problem. Um, here, are, here, are, this is the type of batteries that it uses. You know, one of these big fat ones. Mine are dead. Sucks. So, can't really try it. I'm sorry, but obviously you know what happens. It lights up. Does it have sounds? Yes, it does. And what's neat is that if you hit the blade, you'll hear a. Really neat. I really like that. It's really realistic compared to the uh, the other lightsaber that's out, the FX lightsaber, which is like a hundred bucks or something. But if you don't have a hundred bucks, go ahead and sell out for this. I never knew I could whistle. Well, anyway, here to grade the ultimate lightsaber kit. Not just this, but you know, all of it. First off, it's really neat. Uh, I had a feeling that it was going to be neat before I bought it. Turned out I was right. So let's get on with it. Pros, very neat uh, assembly. You know, putting uh, uh, putting all these combinations together, a thousand combinations, is really neat. Have I achieved a thousand? I have no idea. Yeah. Good lights and sounds. Great. They're great lights and sounds. Not just what the type of lights and sounds there are, but the you just hit the blade and you could hear a like that, like you're actually hitting a lightsaber. Like, well, I mean, you're like you're hitting with a lightsaber. It's really neat. Great detail, really depicting to an actual lightsaber. And unfortunately, that's about it. Well, that, that's enough pros for a good um, kit. Cons, I only have one complaint, and that's the fact that it does not come with the two giant gargantuan batteries. If it came with them, it would have saved us a lot of money, and Hasbro would have been... Is that? Yeah, it's Hasbro. Hasbro made this. Hasbro would have been a thousand times more polite. Because usually they do include um, batteries with their electronic toys, such as the recent Leader Class Optimus Prime comes with two AA batteries, I think, to make the lights and sounds. I thought that was good, but for this, they should have gave us the batteries. And I think that's it. Yeah, that is it. Great. So I give this a 9.1, which is a A minus. It's an excellent role play um, kit. It's it would be excellent for Christmas. You could still find it in your near Toy Story. I think Toy Story is the only to place that I've seen it so far. They sell toys, so go ahead and get one if you want. Not forcing you. Yeah, that wraps up another Black Spider David video review. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.